So now that I have quite a complete concept, at least in the dark, uh, time to bring it into the light. Okay, so that way everybody can see it very nice and clearly. And this is one of the funnest parts because this is when things start to look really 3D and it looks really cool. Okay, so let's let's begin. I'm going to start off with the skin. You can really just start off with anything, but I'm going to start off with the skin. And um, let's begin. Okay, so this is the part where I might just start to zoom in a little bit. If you notice throughout this video, uh, I've been doing everything without zooming in. And that's simply because um, I try to not zoom in as much as possible until I really, really need to. You know, this forces me to simplify things, and when I simplify things, I'm covering much more ground, and things are getting done a lot faster. Because you know, this is a tutorial where we're talking about creating concepts for a live action film. So that doesn't mean just creating something that looks like it could be in a live action film, but doing it in such a way where you're dealing with deadlines you're dealing with all sorts of stuff people need this stuff you know they they don't want to wait and uh, it's always a good thing to get the director and their concepts as quick as possible and that's what I'm doing here okay so I'm just laying in a bit of a lighter tone now and I can really start to see uh, this creature pop out right and that's great Okay, I'm using quite a low opacity right now. It's very, very simple um, and no crazy brushes. As you can tell, like I, I've been using nothing but the default brush here, just changing my opacity every once in a while and uh, you know, relatively sticking relatively to the same kind of um, flow as well. I've been using 10% flow, which is quite low. Um, that's not to say that I always use this amount of flow, but in this case, I, I am using this flow because I want to do a lot of gradual things. And when you use very low flow, then the paint comes out slower and that allows you to do very gradual little bits and pieces here and there and that's that's great you know it works out quite well this way now, a lot of people don't even touch flow at all they use things like other dynamics making things a little bit softer a little bit uh, well softer due to pen pressure and uh, they use a consistent amount of flow, 100% flow. You could do either or, you know, do what's comfortable for you. My own way of painting has been developed through, you know, before the internet, right? Before the internet, I was already digital painting. So a lot of this stuff, I didn't learn it from anybody else. These are my own uh, techniques. And that's, I guess that's why it has kind of made my style a little bit more special that way. So as you're you know watching this video and hearing all the the instructions of what am, wh what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? The most important thing is to think about why, you know? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? Because a lot of times you just hear the why and then you can think about well how would you go about doing it and when you think like that then you're gonna get into some really original stuff you know much more original kind of style and that's the biggest part about creating concepts um, or being a character designer is being original okay so here we go. That's looking pretty good now. I like that. The skin is really starting to pop. I'm, I'm looking into a smaller window all the time to see if that is exactly what I wanted. You know, and actually, why don't we take the time out right now and let me just tell you about the smaller window. Why do I have that smaller window? Why don't I use a uh, navigator? A lot of times I use the smaller window because 
first of all, in Navigator, you can't do this. You can't just zoom in without kind of expanding the whole entire thing, right? Um, the whole entire window. So that's a great thing. The other thing is that I can paint in the smaller window, which you can't do in uh, the Navigator window as well. You know, so a bunch of little slight differences and a lot of them a lot of times that makes all the difference okay so I have this nice uh, white belly coming out okay there we go so that's looking good and look at that you know without that lighting with the lighting the character pops right out now and it's super easy to see now super easy to understand so that's why I love this phase uh, I don't know if I love it the most but it's definitely one of my favorite phases in creating a, a character a creature concept it's definitely a fun phase because then this is when um, all the hard work starts to pay off you really start to three see the three-dimensional uh, aspects of this character. Okay, I do plan on making these eyes slightly redder. But I'm not too worried about that at this moment. I'm going to vary up the colors and everything later on. My main focus here is to bring everything out right into the light so we can all see what's going on in my head what what the idea is that's the main purpose of this 